back now is the battle that we were waiting for. The GP rounds. We have, ah, look at this, on the starting line. Villain Heng from team. Uh, ref 4 performance going against Belstrel. One of two females left in this GP competition. We have Villain to lead, being the highest seed compared to Bella, who managed to, you know, get, his, get her way through to the top 16 of the main event, which is remarkable for, for Belle Strell. She's doing pretty well right after D1. What do you think, Peter Davis? I think uh, it's remarkable for her to be here at this level, being such a new driver. And uh, she's out here playing with the big boys in a big boy car as well. That's right. And she is able to control it. But Villain Hang did say earlier he wants to take home the gold for Rev4 Auto Works. So let's see if he's going to make that happen and put Pelstrel on the back burner. That's right. I received a call from uh, Villain Hang yesterday to, uh, informing us that his car got some uh, issue with the compression. So I was told cylinder number five and six has lesser compression compared to the others you see what you need to do is get an inline four in there and then you wouldn't have that problem that's right but that's the problem you, you can't finish <laughs> <laughs> uh, story of my life <laughs> so yeah but then they took the car back to the garage and uh fix it and then i think they're just gonna go with it you know this is gonna be the last race for this engine at least <laughs> right. so here we go Villain be. leading Belstrad right there. Good initiation by Villain. Wow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Dropping a wheel. Oh, oh rotate. Clipping. That's definitely unchaseable by Villain Hang. Wow, more surprises right here. Wow. So, Villain Hang making her first mistake, causing Belstrad to choke up. But that's fine. Let's see what happens in the second half of this bout. Now both drivers getting in a bit more practice and warming up those tyres so they're ready for the second half. That's a shame for Villain Heng. Trudy wanted to take home the gold for the team, but it might not be possible. So we can hear the limiter. The engine still sound good from Willem's engine. But maybe, maybe they did some magic last night and fixed it. It's but unfortunately, the initiation was really impressive it was really nice and early you know but the moment villain enters that first a rear clipping point the car starts to open up too much of an yes. angle causes him to like over rotate yeah and there's no way uh, that is chaseable in this uh, condition uh, this wet condition slippery for sure for sure you yeah. need some crazy reverse angle kits that's right four-wheel steer four-wheel steer okay. inertia drift yeah that's right huh? we have villain also going a little bit wide at the beginning probably zeroing on the blue line I'm not so sure we need to check out a, a replay of that again but uh, it's okay now we're gonna see the second half of this bout Belstra will now be in the lead so and let's yeah, see judges. where she takes villain hang yeah judges are ready we are going to send second run big advantage for Bell Strell. But Villain is not going to back down. He's going to apply the pressure as much as he can. And we know from the sim background, Villain Hang is a beast chasing right now by Bella. Ah! Very late initiation. That's one of the most confident entries I've seen from Bella today. It's that first couple of clips. And she does manage to keep it going all the way through, just touching that third rear clip and that inner clip around that teardrop is done quite well. Villain Hang having to cut down his angle a lot to keep up. Belstrell's car has a lot of grip, it looks like. But right there, Villain Hang doing his best to stay close as Belstrell hits that last all important clipping zone. Are judges having mixed opinions? Do we need to check out a replay? Yeah. Villain Hang, you can see here, adjusting to get to the back of uh, 
Bell Strauss car. And it's a one more time. So ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna see this match up one more time. So this is a... Uh... So there you have it, anything can happen. Even though you have a big advantage on the first run, the second run might not go your way. And this is just a good example. So we're gonna go one more time. One more time, Bellstrap versus Villain. The and, entry uh, by Bella or Bellstrap, she did literally drive through instead of drifting through. She did. So unfortunately, she needs to be a bit more aggressive at the beginning. She, yeah. she so far today, I haven't seen her hitting that aggression uh, right at the beginning. That's where she needs to go. I harder. think the the the, the rain kind of distracted her driving. Quite possibly, so, and she's not feeling her best. Yeah. Today. Again, three categories today. Oh wow! FDC Pro, GP2, and also GP. So she did had a quick chat with me, saying that she's under the weather. She's under the weather. She needs my new product, Regen. She really does. Bring it on. I, it, we it's, shall it's, see. It's on the way. Hopefully, it's next round. Uh, hopefully, by next round. Yes, yes quite likely. Final round, Regen. Regenerate. By Peter Davis. Rehydrate. Uh? It's going to be there. Rehydrate, regenerate. Rehydrate, regenerate. Well, refresh as well. Refresh. Refresh. That's right, so we're going to be finishing up this one more time before proceeding to our top eight, so our top 16 battle. We're going to find our winner. So because of the initiation, I think the spotter is telling Bell Strel, like, what was the mistake she done? She got to bring it home already, but because of the initiation, she literally drove through. She needs to have more, to have more angle. I think she's being very careful not to spin out because yes, of the wet surface. Yes, and it's a, it's a yeah. fast entry. But she need to, under, she need to trust the car. Yes. Trust the car like how you trust yourself. Y yes. Right. But what if you don't trust yourself? And you then don't, you won't trust the happened. car. You don't drift. Yeah, that's <laughs> what happens. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> now she needs to trust herself. I know from watching her uh, just a few times that she's got what it takes and she's able to completely perform on this track. Uh, it's just her self-confidence, maybe right. her fitness level to drive right now because she's a little bit ill. That's right. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, there's a lot of pressure going on, adverse track conditions. Yeah. So let's hope she can just put it all together. Let's go. Now she'll be chasing Villain Hang for this first section. Villain this time gets his mark and Belstrel able to follow. Villain already on the outside clipping zone number two, but Bellstrau very shallow, not able to push too much power down. And straightens up. So Villain Hang now able to complete his course. All he has to do is complete this wrap. And he'll already have the advantage. On that limiter as he pushes the car to the final clip zone with the brakes on, just for a bit more control. Unfortunately there for Bellstrel, what we were saying, you know, she needs to trust herself a bit more. Okay, let's see if she can now get it together. And you never know. There's luck of the draw sometimes, and this time we might have luck of the conditions. We might see Villain Hang make a small slip up. Let us have a look. Track is ready, judges are ready, drivers are ready. And here they come. Can Bellstrau make a much better entry here? Pushing and boom. It was better, but she only just clipped in. Villain Hang quite straight through that first section there. Bellstrau now on the outer clip. Pushing hard. Villain Hang doing a good job of keeping close. Inside clip also touched on the front end of Bellstrau's car around that teardrop transition. 
back to the outside of the track and our penultimate clip zone villain right there on Belstrau's door nice switch from both of our drivers and across the line they go so did Belstrau do enough on that second run in the lead We're about to find out. Our judges say, Villain Hang advances, car number 30, commiserations to Belstrau 95. And next up, we are in our top eight. It's going to be Ben Aki Speed, and he's going to be battling Sherwin Chu.